Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my lesson is on adjacent and vertical angles. So today, you will learn to identify adjacent and vertical angles and find angle measures using what you know about adjacent and vertical angles. So here's what I want you thinking about today. What is unique about angles formed by intersecting lines? So adjacent angles are two angles that share a common side and have the same vertex. So by definition, they share a common side and have the same vertex. So in this diagram right here, this is the vertex of all four angles pictured. Think about adjacent as like adjoining rooms. So when you have adjoining rooms in a hotel, they share a wall. If your classroom is adjoining to another classroom, it means they have a common wall. So here we go. Here are two angles. One and two are adjacent because they have the same vertex and they share this ray as a common side. So angle one is made up of these two rays and angle two, these two rays, and they share the side. So they are adjacent. So the adjacent angles in this picture are angles one and two. And then we have angles two and three. They share this common ray. Angles three and four are adjacent. They share this ray. And angles one and four are adjacent because they share this ray. The angles in this picture that are not adjacent are angles two and four and angles one and three. So you can see that angle four and angle two share the vertex, but there's nothing in common. I could actually separate those two angles apart. And then angles one and three would have the same thing. They do not have a common ray. So they are opposite each other, but not adjacent. So your turn. I would like you to look at this diagram and identify two pairs. So one pair, two pair of adjacent angles. Go ahead and pause, come back when you're ready. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So here we go, there's lots, you only, I only asked you to name two, but here we go. So angle ABC, remember that the vertex needs to be the middle letter in the naming the angle. If you, this is not familiar to you, my previous video in this playlist will help you learn to name an angle. So ABC is adjacent to CBD. They share the CB ray. Notice you see the letters BC and BC. And then you could have named CBD and DBE. Again, noticing that we have a B and a D and a B and a D. Those are their common rays. And then I have angle DBE is adjacent to EBF and they share side, that ray EB, and then I have EBF and ABF, both have the common ray BF, and then ABF and ABC, they share the ray AB. So one thing I want you to know is when I listed these, you can see that they have AB, AB, and then over here I have BF and BF, over here I have BE and EB, right, they're the same, and BD and DB, and then I have over here BC and CB. So you need two common letters if you're going to say they're adjacent. All right, so there we go. Those are adjacent. You can see they're next to each other. I've color-coded them for you. Then we have DB and EDF. Give you a whole other visual here. Those are adjacent angles. So now I want to talk to you about vertical angles. Vertical angles are two angles that are opposite each other when formed by the intersection of two lines. So here we have two lines that are intersecting and I have angles one and angle three. They are opposite each other and vertical. And then I have angles two and four that are opposite each other. Notice these are not adjacent, they are opposite. Now, one very, very key point to know, one characteristic of vertical angles that's really important, is they're congruent. And reminding you that congruent angles are angles that have the same measure, so they are equal to each other. 
So if I told you that angle two measured 40 degrees, then angle four has to be 40 degrees because they're vertical and congruent. So here we go, angles one and three are the same and angles two and four. Another way to note it is you might see these arcs. So this red arc tells you that angles one and three are congruent. And then you might see this would be the double arc, meaning two and four are congruent, but there's two because they're not congruent to this one. So this means anything with one arc in it is congruent to this angle, and anything with two arcs in it is congruent to this angle. So your turn. I would like you to name two pairs of vertical angles. Please pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So angles one and three are vertical and angles two and four are vertical. Now we're going to talk how we use what we know. So we're going to find adjacent angle measures. So right here I have two angles that are adjacent and I can see that they form a 90 degree angle. So together they are adjacent and will equal 90 degrees. So we can use the fact that we know this is a right angle to write an equation. So I know that x plus 4 plus 31 together have to be 90 degrees. So I'm going to combine my like terms. 4 plus 31 is 35. Now to solve for x, I'm going to do the inverse, and I'm going to subtract 35 from both sides, leaving me x is equal to 55. 90 subtract 35 is 55. So now I know the value of x, I can go back and find the angle. So 55 plus 4 is 59 degrees. And I can check that because 59 plus 31 is 90 degrees. So my missing angle is 59 degrees. Your turn. Can you find the value of x to determine the missing angle? Please pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So once again, these are adjacent angles that together form a 90 degree angle. So I know that x plus 35 is equal to 90 degrees. Subtract 35 from both sides and I get the x is 55. And this time my angle was simply x. So I know my answer is 55 degrees. Now we're going to use what we've learned about vertical angle measures to find the missing angle. So my missing angle x is opposite this angle. Vertical angles have the same measure. So if this angle is 90 degrees, then I know that angle x must also be 90 degrees. Your turn. Go ahead and pause. Come back when you're done. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So these are vertical angles. We know that vertical angles are equal or congruent. So we know that this missing angle has to also be 70 degrees. Your turn. Please pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So this one was different. This is a straight angle. So if you need review on right angles and straight angles, my previous video will review all of that for you. So let's write an equation. These are adjacent angles that form a straight angle that measures 180 degrees when added together. So we know that x plus 117 needs to equal 180. Subtract 117 from both sides and x is equal to 63. So 63 degrees is the missing angle. Go ahead, try this one. Pause, come back when you're ready. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So these are vertical angles. Vertical angles have the same measure. So I know that this missing angle is 128 degrees. So there you have it, adjacent and vertical angles. I hope this helped you understand the difference between adjacent and vertical angles and how to use what you've learned to find the measures of specific angles. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I hope you'll come back for more videos.